Hello, my Dolly friends. It is Gina, and I am here with my beautiful new Pippa sculpt from Natalie Blick, who was reborn by Tegan Manaz, and she is with Royal Anchor Reborn Nursery. You can find her on Reborns.com. I have decided to name this precious little girl who is in her pajamas now, although she wanted to wear her headband until I put her down. Um, this is Victoria Grace. And I went ahead and I have changed the Zoe sculpt into a sweet little boy. And it was the reason I did that is because I tried boy clothes on both of them. And what happened is too, I have seen other Zoe sculpts as a boy. And it made it easier for me to picture that one as a boy. So because on Carrie's Little Cuties, she has a Zoe that is a little boy. And Gail over at Suzy Q's Happy Little Haven has a Zoe that is a little boy. In fact, hers name is Brayden. I don't remember Carrie's, but they are the Zoe sculpt and they are little boys and they look fabulous. So I don't know, Zoe, because I really tried both clothes on both babies and really tried to figure it out and somehow um the pippa sculpt just said girl more and so she is grace victoria now and my zoe is grant harrison but i will show him you later i will probably come on and make another video and show all the details of beautiful grace here um, she has her little dolly <clears throat> she is wearing little summer pajamas they have carrots all over them and she's got her little headband on i also wanted to talk about my statement that i made about having no more reborns in my nursery but i will be adding other dolls so it's not like you're not going to see box openings for example i still collect my barbie dolls i'm still collecting and i i only need i only have a few more of those i really want one idea i had may not come to fruition um we'll see i don't know um and I'm still going to be collecting my vintage childhood dolls that were my favorite. And there are still two that I want. Now I had quite a few childhood baby dolls, but there are still two out there that I really want to have. Um, and like I said, unless I see, you know, Something really comes up now. The other thing I have made, promise I have made to myself, is that should I decide to bring another reborn in, another baby has got to go. Because at the moment, I have 13 reborn babies. I have four manufactured dolls. Two are from Ashton Drake and two are from Paradise Galleries. So I have a total of 17 dolls, but I can only handle having out in my bedroom eight at a time. I cannot have more than that out at a time because it just, I become overwhelmed and I feel cluttered and I feel like the walls are closing in on me. So it's just so much better for me personally if I only have 
eight babies out. And I decided I will probably switch them around or just, you know, some might just be closet babies. I might keep the same out all the, I don't know what I'm going to do on as far as that goes all, yet. But you will get to see all of my dolls just for my sake in my bedroom. I can only display a certain amount at a time. I don't feel overwhelmed when there's only eight out. So, and I still collect Charlie bears too. So you can always see Charlie bears on my um, channel, which I've kind of made a rule with myself with that. I really only want two Charlie bears a year. Um, I've already gotten more than that this year. Um, but there is one more. Well, there's actually two more that I are no, actually, there's three more I really want this year because I want one from the Best Friends collection and I want the 2023 Isabella Masterpiece Bear and I want the 2024 Isabella Masterpiece Bear. So, and then probably every year if I stay in the Best Friends Club, I think what I'm going to do is always get the Isabella mohair, the masterpiece bear each year and get one of the characters that is in the best friends bear club. So that's how I'm going to, to do that because those, you know, or unless there's, I, I just, I just need to be restrained on how many bears I have. So, but anyway, um, and I don't know that I'll get those three bears this year because I've got lots of other things that I've got to take care of. But at any rate, I simply wanted to come on, show you that I had dressed little precious Grace in her pajamas there. Here, let mommy have your dolly for a moment. Okay, sweet girl, I'll give it back. I'll give it back. And you can just see her better in her little summer jammies with her little green hair bow on and really that's about it guys i don't have a lot more you know much more to tell you i just wanted to you know because i know a lot of people said oh you're going to keep collecting you're, you're going to keep buying dolls really and truly two things have happened that i can't one is i've noticed a lot of reborns now even on Reborn.com, the ones that I generally would want are way out of my price range. $1,000 for a Reborn doll is too much for me. $1,200, $1,800 for some of the extremely realistic Reborns, the toddler size, like what little Grace is here. I don't have $1,800 to spend on a doll. I don't, I can't, even saving it up. I have to start saving for my retirement and save big time. I have a hefty car payment for the next six years. So I need to not buy dolls. Now, like I said, that doesn't mean I won't buy clothes. Um, and that doesn't mean I won't add, you know, a few other dolls and my Barbie collection might just be complete. I don't know. I, I, I haven't decided because I was never really into Barbie that much. I know I pre-ordered a couple that I'm still waiting on to come. I don't think they get released until August. So, and I think it's only one, maybe two. I don't even remember. But, you know, and I want to... I want to, I like to get little things for my grandson and my granddaughter. And so my money's just going to go elsewhere and not, not into any more dolls. I mean, when the dolls works, the, to me, reborns are expensive enough. 450 to 650 to 850 was woo. $900 for a doll. Whoa. Uh, those were expensive, but I just can't keep doing that and then expect to retire in seven or eight years or seven years. 
um, just can't do it. So, um, anyway, just wanted to come on real quick, talk to you, let you see beautiful grace, and tomorrow I will come on when the lighting is much better and it's daylight because this is before midnight. So this is also for D over at the baby patch because on central daylight savings time where I am, uh, it is not yet midnight. So I am filming this on Monday. So this is whatever I want Monday brought to us by the lovely D over at the baby patch. Everyone have a Good rest and a good sleep, and I will see you all again tomorrow. Take care, Dolly friends. Bye-bye.